We are gathered here to honor Assistant Chief John Bryant Goforth, who was born 5-12-1893 and laid down his life in the service of the community on 10-29-1956. On October 29, 1956, Chief J.B. Goforth became the sixth firefighter to be killed in the line of duty. At 5.30 p.m., an alarm was received from a box on 14th and English Street. Upon arrival, Engine 1 found a two-story brick apartment building with fire in an upstairs apartment. Chief Goforth and his driver, James L. Parham, arrived shortly after the pumper. Chief Goforth was on the balcony and ordered firefighter Charles Charlie Adams to cut a hole in the floor. After the hole was cut, firefighter Adams came out of the apartment and found Chief Goforth lying at the bottom of the stairs. Parham and Adams tried several times to resuscitate the chief, but when their efforts proved useless, they loaded him into a command car and rushed him to the city hospital. Chief Goforth died on his way to the hospital as a result of a heart attack. The cause of the fire was later determined as children playing with matches. Throughout most of history, the lives of firefighters have been closely associated with the ringing of a bell. As they began their hours of duty, it was the bell that started it off. For over a hundred years, this bell rang throughout the day and night. Each alarm sounded by the bell that called them to fight fire and to place their lives in jeopardy for the good of their fellow man. And when the fire was out, an alarm was sounded out to signal the end of their duties. Our brother, Chief Goforth, has completed his task. His duties are done. The bell will ring in the memory of all in tribute and the life of his service.